Hi, today I'm going to talk about how to use your vanishing point filter to be able to put some kind of pattern into a three-dimensional drawing where you have some perspective. And so what we're going to be doing today is placing this wallpaper pattern on this back wall um, back here in this 3D sketch and have that look like it has some perspective. If I was just to clone stamp it in here, it would be straight up and down, it would be square, it would not have perspective as this drawing does, it would not go you know, uphill and downhill like it, like the perspective lines um, go here towards our, our vanishing point which is over on the left, um, nor would it uh, get larger as it goes to the right, so none of those things would happen if I was just going to use it as a regular clone stamp. So the first thing that I need to do um, in order to do this is I need to take, I'm going to put it on this back wall here, and I'm going to take my window and this cabinet here and this little lamp, and I'm going to put them all on their own layer so that they can sit in front um, of my vanishing um, wallpaper that I'm going to put on there. And so uh, first of all, I'm going to um, create some new layers, and I'm going to leave this layer as my, my base or my plan, and um, my middle layer here I'm going to call wallpaper and my top layer is where I'm going to put my furniture. Okay, so I'm going to go through a process of selecting um, my, my window here and so on my base layer I'm going to um, hold my shift key and try to get a few different things selected but as you can see I have some holes in my drawing so it's selecting a few different things, more things than I want it to select. And so I'm just going to select my quick mask down here on the bottom so that I can just come in here and use my brush to be able to select some things. And um, using the white side of my quick mask, I'd be, be able to mask off some of those areas there um, around this window and then just kind of color that in in the middle. As well as this cabinet over here. And I want to have that be able to sit in front of my element here. So again, using my shift key to kind of go around to those four corners and then just coloring in. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm not going to be real exacting, um, but just to kind of give you an, an overview and an idea of how this works. And just get the little arm of my lamp there. Get a little bit smaller brush. and the white portion and then the corner of this chair. So when I use my vanishing um, my vanishing point perspective, um, I need to be able to cover an entire area. So I need to be able to say like this entire grid would be covered with my material even though I only want it to appear behind these things. So because of that, um, I have to mask off those areas and put them on a layer so that they, they would sit in front of the other elements. And that way it gives the, um, the illusion a little better that, um, that that perspective is working. So that's good enough for right now. Like I said, it doesn't need to be perfect for the purpose of this demonstration. So I'm going to shut off my quick mask and you can see that those areas are selected. I'm then going to copy them using control C and I'm going to select my furniture layer and I'm going to paste them there using control V. Okay. So then I'm going to go over to my wallpaper. Now I've already taken my wallpaper and I've used a clone stamp to be able to get a large amount of repeat um, of this material. And I'm going to use my rectangular selection tool. I'm going to draw a rectangular box around my entire piece of wallpaper end to end. And you'll notice that I've got you know my repeat going um, in a precise way there so I'm able to line stuff up. And I'm going to just say control C. I'm going to come back to my sketchy drawing and I'm going to go under filter and then vanishing point. And it's going to open a separate dialog box. And right now I'm on the little plus here, create plane tool. And so I'm going to use that plane tool to give my work plane four um, distinct points. Now I'm able to adjust this after I've placed it. So I definitely want it on the wall. 
So I need to move it up a little bit again so that my, my areas are aligned with what my vanishing point would be. And I pretty much got that there. My verticals look pretty vertical. You don't want to have your verticals looking out, um, out of vertical. And if you try and make a shape that's not going to work as a perspective or is going to work differently, you're going to get a yellow or then a red um, grid that's not going to work um, versus having this nice blue grid, which tells me that I have this lined up like a perspective. So after I have my grid in there, I'm then going to go control V to be able to paste. And you can see that my, um, my piece of wallpaper pasted in there. I'm just going to grab it with the arrow that's currently available and I'm going to pull it over to this grid. So you can see that the shape of it has changed um, so that it's going in perspective. You can see my little flowers here going uphill and that they're getting larger as they get towards the end. I need another one because my wall is a little bit bigger and so I'm just going to go paste again and I get a second one. And I'm just going to line up this one over the top of the other one so that my um, repeat lines up. And my little trees are the right shape there and that looks okay. And so I'm going to say okay. Oh, and look at that, I was on the wrong layer. So I'm gonna go undo. I wanna be on my wallpaper layer when I do this. And so we're gonna do that one more time. So I'm gonna go to filter and then vanishing point. And I'm going to draw in my four corners of my vanishing point. Make sure that that's all square and lined up. And again, I can nudge these. I can zoom in if I can't see what I'm doing. And that looks okay. I'm gonna paste and I get my piece of wallpaper I can drag over to the side. I'm going to paste it a second time and I'm going to line up my two pieces of wallpaper so that my repeat matches my trees there on the edge and I'm going to say okay. So now because I have that on the wallpaper layer which is in between that furniture layer um, is coming over the top so then that is able to sit in front of my wallpaper and that is vanishing point.